nullified from fire. Okay. We're gonna just uh, skip that. And I want a photon cannon this. Did a ton of damage to like everyone there. And we will yeah, just kill him there. Just get him out of here. So let's get into Malice and Greed. This, I was not expecting this to win the community poll. I've been told that the game is very, very complex, but I'm gonna attempt to figure it out with you guys. Um, I'm liking the music here and stuff like that. So I guess we'll just press new game. I don't really know what else else to do. So, okay, oh, okay. Um, is there not a tutorial? Uh, this music is a bop. It definitely is. Okay, no modifiers. Do I just, so I guess I have my party down here. Let me go ahead and adjust. I didn't really know where to, uh, to put some of this stuff so this is the tutorial okay okay so I'm assuming we just click this we have a bounty hunter here uh, I don't know what all of these things are and we have a Zendra uh, so I'm gonna just press no modifiers okay here we go defeat enemies by casting skills there are six damage types physical fire ice arcane lightning and gun skills cost crystals to cast when you run out and your turn when your round starts your team gains one crystal for each ally alive on your team Okay, that makes sense. It just has a minimalistic tutorial. Gotcha. Hey, Utah Major, how you doing? Um, okay, so where are my crystals? My crystals are over here. We gotta kill these vending vending trons. And I'm assuming these are our abilities. Um, three skills, so gouge, uh, deal five physical damage to an enemy. So I guess we just press that. We'll start attacking this Vendatron. Exploiting enemy weakness deals one extra damage and any crystals you spent on the skill become fading instead of being destroyed You can spend the fading crystal again potentially doubling your actions However, fading crystals are always fully destroyed when spent if you hit a weakness with a skill that costs multiple crystals All crystals spent on the skill become fading at the same time. So I don't know what really destroying our crystal does When you hit a weakness any non-fading crystals you spent become fading instead of being destroyed Huh. Yeah, I don't know what, what fading necessarily does. Question, you ever played an SMT game? I, wh what does an SMT game stand for? I, I, don't, I don't know if I've heard that term, so probably not. That's a weird vending machine. It definitely is. Okay, so now this is our bounty hunter, though. So we have, when you hunt a unit, fully focus yourself. I wish I could mouse over what some of these, uh, like what hunt means. I don't know what hunting a, a unit means. Shin, Megama, Tensi, or Persona. Um, I have, I don't think I have, no. Um, debuff, so how do I see what their weaknesses are? It's resistant, so this is what it's resistant to? It's resistant, so these are all the things they're resistant to. Except, how do I, I don't know, I don't know how to tell that's a lot of resistances, but they're weak to physical and to... Oh, just physical. Okay, that this is interesting. It's kind of weird how it's presenting it, in my opinion. Are you just playing some kind of mini games? Um, I'm playing two new roguelites. Um, so this is uh, one, one roguelite that's very complex, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to uh, get used to. Because it has a very similar way. It deals with enemy weaknesses and resistances. Oh, well, I'll just say weaknesses are vital. You could uh, risk actually healing enemies and have attacks reflected back at you. It's a very strong learn the enemy game. Gotcha. Okay, well, I guess we'll just steady shot this. So it resisted it, but there's not much we could do because they're both the same exact unit. So, um, I guess we will just gouge again. We just probably keep doing that, right? Uh, steady shot again. So we were able to do that more because we got the, we were hitting what they were okay on. So I guess next we'll just let them do protect an enemy, freeze a unit two times. When your round starts, you gain one potential of each type you have until you reach your max. Until you reach your max, you must, okay, this music is like really heavy. You must reach the amount of potential shown on the skill to cast it. Um, but the potential is not lost. There are four types of potential. Oh, so we can slowly get more powerful to be able to do things. Oh, so like after three turns, we'll be able to start doing Eviscerate. That's pretty cool. 
It's a very strong... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see here. So, now we can do Wound, which is bleeding an enemy. Because we're too... Okay, I like that, I like that. It's almost like mana in Magic the Gathering or something. That's that's really cool. It's, it uses what's called a press turn system. If you hit an enemy with its weakness, you get another crystal back. Gotcha. Corvex, how's it going? Hey, good, how are you doing? Uh, I think we're gonna bleed this person, just start bleeding him. Take one physical damage per stack when bleed progresses, fully bleeding unit, lose. Okay, uh, first aid, we don't need to heal, scrape, lightning, fire. So it's just kind of weird how it's presenting the weaknesses. So this is all what it's resistant to. And the top ones, so it's resisting everything but physical damage apparently. Pretty good just got up. Hey, there you go. Um, yeah, I'm interesting because I moved the uh, live stream a little earlier. Um, okay, when you hunt a unit, still don't know what hunting a unit is. Um, pay. Oh, so we actually pay those resources. Pay them to reduce 8 HP, Molotov, Lightning, Gun Damage. So we're going to just Molotov, I guess. We'll s start killing this guy. How much damage is he going to take on the bleed? Per stack. I think there's only two stacks of bleed. Yeah, this music has some pretty hard rocking music. Let me know if it's uh, too, too loud. Because I could definitely turn it down. I turned it down for myself. But if it's like way too like rock heavy, I could definitely turn it down a little bit. Um, we'll just kill this guy. Slain units become a corpse. Corpses do not take a turn and do not generate crystals for their team. HP lost by corpses is removed from their max HP. If the corpse is revived, it will retain this new max HP. When a corpse reaches zero HP, permanent is their unit is permanently destroyed. The battle is lost if all allies are corpses or the protagonist's corpse is destroyed. The protagonist's... Am I the, am I the bounty hunter? And Zendra? I know. I, I know that, like, I think this is just placeholder art. Um, okay. Well... I guess we just, when you hunt a unit, we still can't do that. So, um, freaking fire damage. It's gonna resist some of it, but not much we can do there. P potentiate an enemy. Turn the tide of battle with buffs and debuffs. The dots at the left show how many stacks have been applied. At three stacks, it becomes fully stacks. Oh, activating a bonus effect. Buffed and debuffs last for three rounds when applied, shown by the outer ring. Reapplying the effect will refresh the duration and increase the stack. Buffs and debuffs on you are progressed when your round starts, reducing the remaining duration by one. Okay, cool. That makes sense. So what happens when bleed? Fully ble Oh, fully bleeding units lose one defense. That's interesting. Wanted dead is a passive. The skill poach can trigger it. The skill poach. Okay, gotcha. Oh, seek, search for known enemy weaknesses. That's interesting. Also, don't worry about health management. It's a heal after every battle system. Oh, okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. Um, okay. Pay two to deal 20 physical damage to an enemy. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. So, what were you saying? Poach? Oh, it does the hunt. Okay, there we go. To an enemy and we hunt them. When you hunt a unit, fully focus yourself. What does focus do? I, 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 yeah, I think it'd be cool if it did some Slay the Spires type stuff where I could actually, like, mouse over, or when I moused over this, it then had, like, like, little things, like, to the left of the card that explained what all the highlighted words were, um, especially in complex, uh, keyword-heavy games, but either way, we should be able to kill him with Molotov now, even though he resists. The final enemy you kill each battle can be abducted into your party. When you abduct a unit, you permanently learn its resistances... Your active team can have the protagonist with three units and you can store up to four back. That's cool. That's cool. So I have a Vendatron. That is really cool. The world is influenced by an ominous force known as Spin. Spin progresses by one after each battle affecting the world. Things are settling down. Spin revolves up and down between zero and four, progressing by one when you win a battle. Um, spin affects a variety of factors such as a chance to act first in battle and how often the emergency bosses will appear. So do we want... Progressing by one, I don't know if that means we want to be higher or lower. Spin, we're spinning up right now. Spin progresses by one after each battle, affecting the world. Seems all right for now. Huh, okay. That's interesting. You can click the card and mouse over the text. Oh, okay, so I just have to click the card. It is a little much. Yeah, here's the main thing to keep in mind. The last enemy you kill is the one you can add. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. 
So, I guess we just do another battle here. You can inspect units with the right mouse button. This allows you to see the unit's skills to exit inspect mode. Either right click the unit again or press the back button. So if we right click our person, and what, I do I have to, how do I click the card? Do I click it? Oh, I click it and it stays up. So if it was this, hunt, oh, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. When a unit is killed by damage with hunt, the damage is lifesteal. Wait, when a unit is killed by damage with hunt, that's worded weird. When a unit is killed by damage with hunt, so I'm assuming when the unit has hunt and it's dead, the damage is lifesteal, destroys the corpse, and the unit's resistances are learned permanently. Okay, and what is focus? Deals one extra damage per stack against weaknesses, damage from fully focused units, bypass, resist, and a bunch of keywords. Okay, that is uh, interesting. Okay, how do I stop inspecting? Okay, there we go. It's a keyword like magic. This card does eight physical damage with hunt. Okay, so Tinker Pixie. So I don't get to choose who's attacking first, I'm assuming. Unit resists this type of damage, is weak to. It absorbs, oh, oh, I figured it out. The symbols on the left are meaning it resists things. And it, like, so it, I resist all these damage. This, it's nothing. And this, I'm weak to this damage type. Okay, I fully learned this unit absorbs this damage type. I've learned how this, this little key thing works at least. <laughs> if the damage kills something, it destroys it, get life steal. Okay, so we're just going to, uh, what are these guys? We don't know about any of this. So I guess we'll just gouge. I think it does so it's nothing, no resistance. That's cool, that's cool. Um, what about steady shot? Okay, it's weak to guns, and see, now we know that. Um, static field thorns yourself. Units that target you lose one HP per stack. Um, let's see, potentiate an ally. What is potentiate? So we need to, what, right click? Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, who are we on? What were we doing? Oh, okay, this one, yeah, I wanna click that. Potentiate gain one potential of each type. Potential determines what skills can be cast. Oh, that's like the mana. That's the mana, okay. Well, you know what? Let's let's do that for our bounty hunter. So we'll buff the bounty hunter. We'll just do another gouge here, get that bleed up there. And uh, end the turn. Okay, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. So there, I guess my bounty hunter is weak to shock. Invigorate. I don't know what that, what that did. Okay, well. Um, bleed an enemy. I don't understand. Oh wait, what does efficient do? What does that mean? Full crystals spent become fading instead of, oh, so it just, okay. So it means no matter what, you get to do it again. That makes sense. Okay, um, so we will just do the physical damage and bleed. Um, study shot, scrape. Um, we will do... It's weak to gun, so I'm gonna just do a gun there and that bleed should kill it, I'm pretty sure. Freeze the unit, an ally gains 10 max HP. So this is just a kind of a support character, but we'll, we'll use him aggressively. Oh, the enemy was immune to your damage. The kickback destroyed one of your crystals. Oh, so what are they immune to? Lightning damage, okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Invigorate, okay. So, we just need to, oh, here we go, eviscerate. We can do freaking eviscerate, get out of there. Um, and then we will, especially since I don't have to worry about, we'll just poach, and I guess that's it. Wait, pay to revive an ally, uh-oh. Uh-oh, um, kill that guy, weakness found, poach. So where, how do I know that they're being hunted? I don't know where it shows that they're being hunted, but either way, per stack, they're gonna die from bleed. So we'll just do a poach there. And I, I don't know, we'll, we'll kill that one. You've got it from here. So we'll abduct the Tinker Pixie. Hunt is property on the damage. Oh, so it has to like specifically get the kill on that turn then, I'm assuming. 
Um, okay, so we'll do another battle here. Player advantage. Oh, okay. I like I like the placeholder characters. It's kind of kind of funny. Like there's such different art styles. <laughs> if the damage with the hunt property kills something, it destroys it and gets life steal. Okay. So pyro junkie. I don't know what this. He's probably gonna be like in fire. So you definitely want to do fire to that blood. I'm assuming physical. He's resistant to physical. Let's let's do physical to the pyro guy. So nothing special. What about gun? Guns nothing special. Uh, we're gonna just potentiate the bounty hunter because that's our main guy and this is our thorn pixie zombie and potentiate yourself What is that? Zombified corpses can use skills. Oh Oh, does that 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 is interesting um, Invigorate two allies. What does that do restore one HP per stack? Okay Revive I guess we'll just embrace death. I Don't know <laughs> You can inspect enemies as well, by the way, not just allies. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I can see what they're gonna do. Oh, not like I will fully know 100% like what that do. Okay, so that, that guy's gonna burn. This guy's gonna make us bleed, makes sense. Okay, um, let's just keep piling up on this guy. Um, Molotov, oh, he's dead. No, I don't wanna do fire damage to him at all. So we'll just shoot him. And we will, what about lightning damage? Are we exposed? Oh, lightning does nothing. Um, re restore eight HP to an ally and remove all their bleed. Oh, let's do that on our Zendra because they were bleeding and actually hurting from this bleed guy. That's awesome. Look at that. We're being, we're 10,000 IQ in it up in here. Oh, he's burning us all. Oh, ooh, spicy. Okay, well we will just do this, fully bleed him, that bleed will kill him, we don't have to worry about that. Um, now what about fire damage on the blood guy? He is no, nothing special to it. Um, 16 lightning damage. Lightning doesn't do anything. No one's dead, so that doesn't matter, okay. Cool, we killed the pyro junkie. Oh, that did a lot of damage to our Vendatron and a lot of damage to that person. Oh man. This guy's going hard. Okay. Um, 20 physical damage. Get out of here. And get out of here. Okay. I kind of want the, oh, I forgot though. It's the last one I kill. So I guess we get the blood soldier. You can trade allies in exchange for items and more. Place an ally in the trade slot to offer it for trading. Select your desired item and exchange your ally for it. We're just selling our allies into slavery. What? He got the damage. Makes sense, okay. Select your desired item and exchange your ally for it. When you're done shopping, press leave to exit. Okay, well, what, what is this person doing for us? Oh, this guy's the, okay, we don't need him if we're, if we're doing all this bleeding thing. Wait, how do I manage, what? What, Back backup units drag and drop, how do I? Why can't I only do this guy? Why can't I not do people in my part? Oh. Oh, is Zendra my main person? I thought the bounty hunter was the protagonist. Oh, well that makes sense. I feel like the protagonist <laughs> I was so off guard because he was the one with the placeholder art. Okay, um, I don't even like him. Um, okay, let's get rid of the, um, I don't know, we don't need two supports. Hey, time to grind, how are you doing? Or <laughs> that's what you said, but <laughs> Slimy Salivator 20, how are you doing? Um Okay, what what are these things doing again? Protect an ally. Okay, yeah, we'll get rid of the Vendatron. No, actually I like that. We'll get rid of Tinker Pixie. Screw it. Screw it. Elven bandana is what I can choose if I get rid of him. When a battle starts, potentiate all enemies. Ooh. Well, in that case, I, I can get rid of Vendatron then, honestly. We'll do that. Okay. So we can get Blood Soldier in here. Exchange. Sometimes units will bargain with you to save themselves. Oh. You can select an item to take that dealer to decline to ignore them. Bargained items are bloodbound, causing the protagonist to lose 5 HP if you sell the unit that 
gave you the item. Declining a bargain has a chance for them to double down, offering to teach you a skill instead. Oh my gosh. This is brutal. Like, if they're really trying to not get sold into slavery. Doing good, having a great Saturday, even better. Now that's awesome. I love to hear it. The fact that you have duck dead corpses and use them in battles is dark. And then we sell them into slavery. Like what? Um, okay. I'll give you one of these if you spare me. Um, so he'll give me Raven Break. When an ally hunts an enemy, the HP is rest restored is increased by eight. So that would buff our thing. But the hunt, um, hill generator, when your team's around starts gain a crystal, it seems familiar for some reason. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll do the raw energy. Wait, scammed? What, what does that mean? What does scammed mean? What? If you, if you butcher or sell the unit that give you this, you lose five max HP. Gain one potential. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, it's a different, it's a different item than what it was. Okay, that seemed too good to be true. He scammed you and gave you a mislabeled item. Huh, okay, 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 okay. Either way, gain one potential of each type. Potential determines what skills can be cast. So that we got the mana. I really like the mana system, like, the, 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 like as a Magic the Gathering OG player. Um, I mean, there's no reason to skip it, right? So we do take it. I don't like you, man. Um, okay, well, you know what? We'll get rid of Tinker Pixie then. We'll get rid of tink Tinker Pixie. Give me that. New item or skip to progress spin. When a battle starts. Yeah, I'm just taking that. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Emergency. Calamity detected. Destruction awaits you. Uh oh. Stonks. Okay. Emergency boss. Daybreaker biker. The art style is very interesting in this game. Um, okay, we don't know, so we'll try... Oh, we can already do Eviscerate. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this. Bleed and Maim. What does Maim do? Lose 1 HP stack when you use a skill. When a fully maimed unit deals damage, they lose 1 HP. Bleed. Okay. So, he's not immune to physical. That's good to know. Um... Let's do... Expose. What is it? Lightning. Oh no, he reflex. So he's gonna reflect lightning. Okay. So we lost a crystal. Oh, we can't do anything now. Mame is nice to punish things that spam multi-hit skills. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Um, skip, okay, whatever. I don't even know what he did. Oh, 10 damage there, okay. Oh, oh, 10 damage is our, us too. Okay. Well, um... Bleed an enemy. I think we just keep doing some damage there and getting that bleed up. Uh, first aid, we don't really need. So why is this beta art? Honestly, like, if the entire game is going in this art style, I don't think that's necessarily bad. Like, it's kind of like its own, like, little... Not sloppy, I'm not... Because that's, like, definitely a negative connotation. But it's almost, like, reminds me of this card game Ascension. Like, it's a very unique, distinctive art style that I, I kind of like. So if it's all going to be like that, I think that's cool. I think that... Yeah. I think obviously the, the UI and UX is pretty decent, honestly. Besides like having, I don't like having to click the cards, but um, to look at the keywords. Uh, f okay, let's, oh, well hunting, it doesn't matter, right? Hunting doesn't matter. So what about fire? Okay, he can take fire damage, but I guess fire, oh, the fire doesn't do any damage. Okay, potentiate, uh, freeze a unit. What does that do? Take, oh, okay. Uh, one damage per stack when freeze progresses. Fully frozen units uh, cannot generate fading crystals. Oh, generating fading crystals instead of full crystals. Wait, fully frozen units generate fading crystals instead of full crystals. Oh, and cannot generate more fading crystals. That's interesting. Yeah, let's start freeze. Or actually, bore lightning. No, we can't do lightning damage. So we're going to just freeze this guy twice. If you hunt every unit, you don't get to abduct. If you hunt every unit, you don't get to abduct. What do you mean, ab I'm, I'm so stupid. What do you mean by abduct? Oh, oh, is that the, oh, oh, I see what you're saying. We can't like take them, make them be a part of us. Okay. Fully bleed an ally and an enemy. Pay two to do two physical damage to an enemy. Oh, it's just free. 
Oh, this is our new guy. Restore 3 HP to an enemy and deal 10 physical damage to him. When you damage a bleeding unit, progress bleed on them. Oh, that's just his passive. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, let's just do torture. Yeah, we'll just do torture. Um, and that's all we can do. Sacred bow. Oh, dealing lightning damage to our people. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, he's doing some damage here. He's got a buff. Deals one extra damage per stack against weaknesses. Hunting destroys the corpse. If there's no corpse at the end of the battle, you don't get to take anything into your party. Okay, okay, okay. Um... So his bleed is about to go away unless we bleed him again. There we go. Keep that bleed up. Um... So is he, is he, we don't, he's not resistant. I haven't t checked gun or anything, but, so I don't want to hunt him because I would actually like to take him. So, um, maim, we'll just do that. Oh no, that was lightning. That was lightning. That was lightning. That was so stupid. That was so stupid. We can't do lightning because he reflects it on us. Um, okay. We're going to fully freeze him. There we go. So he's only going to get the potential. Um, and I guess we'll just slice because that's free. It's free. Okay. Okay, let's keep it up. Oh, he's almost killed our main guy. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. 21 damage. Get out of here. And then we're going to do fire damage. Molotov. We did it. Let's take the date. Oh, so you can take the bosses. That's awesome. That's awesome. GG. I beat the tutorial. <laughs> um, okay, well, so Black Skull, when an ally becomes a corpse, zombify them. When an enemy becomes a corpse, decay all enemies, which they're going to take arcane damage per stack. HP lost by fully decayed units or the remote. Damaged enemies only detonates fully stacked bombs and they lose... Detonates fully stacked bombs. Okay, I think that's that's some something specific. So, do I even want to get rid of... We'll get rid of freaking... Vendatron's kind of nice, though. I like having a support. Um, so, the only problem with Blood Soldier is he's really good, but he's... Our Zendra's a bleed guy, too, already. Oh, this is a free reward. Oh, okay. When an ally becomes a core zombify, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll just take that. Okay. So what, we just go up a level now? Ooh, what is this? Defeat an elite battle in this area to unlock. Defeat four mid bosses in area to unlock the act boss. Haven exploration, left click to enter this location. You must enter an area's haven to fight the act boss. You can start a run from any unlocked haven. What? You've unlocked a starter item. Select the electric eye to equip it and get the upper hand against bosses. Starter items can be swapped at havens like this one. Havens are locations that you start a run from and contain a random event. You can start your runs from any previously visited haven on the map. So we got electric eye. You always act first against bosses. Oh, okay. You can only have one starter item at a time that can be swapped. Okay, I kind of like that. I like that. So we'll obviously have electric eye on. I think eventually, obviously, just, uh, you know, Thing. I think that these could be like pictures or something, um, but obviously for now, you know, early access. I like the way it's present, present, presented though. Um, okay, what do we do? How do we, how do we get out of this now? Um, Looks like there's an item on the other side of the electric gate. Jump the gate, gain one dexterity, or absorb the electricity, gain five HP. We'll just gain the dexterity. Does that mean we have to use? I don't know what that green thing means. Oh, just our dexterity. Okay. New item, nothing. When a battle starts, enlighten the protagonist. Uh, reduces the potential requirements by one per stack. Okay, that that's pretty good. We got, wait. Oh, nothing. We literally got an item called nothing. That's hilarious. Basically, it means you can start from Act 2 and Act 3 because the map is non-linear. Okay. That makes sense. So, these are just battles. Um, so, I don't really know. I'm going to go up. Maybe? Yeah, we'll go up. We'll go up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Flame tongue. Huh. 
Also, for this placeholder, I don't know if it's worth the effort, but maybe putting, like, I don't know, little hats on them or something, just so I can tell them apart. Because, like, okay, what is this guy going to do? He's doing a bunch of burn stuff, and this guy's a support. This guy's doing a bunch of fire, and this guy's doing a bunch of freeze. That's interesting in Arcane. What are you playing? Hey, uh, we are playing a game called Malice and Greed, which seems to be a uh, kind of, it's a roguelike, uh, like almost like RPG combat type of thing, like a turn-based party system type thing. Um, very, very interesting. It, it was what uh, <laughs> what you guys voted on uh, being number one. So, okay. I think I want to kill this support first. Um, so we're going to just off the bat eviscerate this guy. Maim and bleed him. Um, and I think we're going to... So there's no point, excuse me, to hunting him unless it can kill him. So we're going to do that. Oh, wow, wow. of course he's absorbing the lightning. So that healed him. And we broke a crystal. Okay. Huh. Okay. We might die here. I wouldn't be, be surprised. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, we didn't even put our cool new little, like, boss in here. We needed to do that. Um, we're just gonna freaking maim this guy again. He's gonna not die to bleed. So, do we have a free... Oh, oh, here we go. Hunt. Okay, the hunt. So, we did it. We hunted. And so, she did something. I don't know. She got a bunch of focus. Gonna deal a bunch of extra damage. That's cool. We finally got that. You can use the protagonist to summon the boss mid-combat if you want. Oh, is that, like, one of his... Uh, skills or something maybe you need to pay attention to that um let's kill this sage because this sage doesn't have a lot actually an ally gains 10 max hp let's go ahead and use that on himself oh it's max hp oh well uh slice She's just gonna do two damage for free let's go let's go still three hp from every enemy oh okay this guy's getting burned um, okay, how do we do this? How do we seek? Oh, units. To view your units, you can spend one crystal to summon, dismiss, or swap units. When units die and turn into corpses, are they permanently dead? Or do they come back at the end? I think the tutorial for summoning isn't added yet. Okay, now I see this. So, like, let's bring in him instead of the Vendatron. Because I don't want my Vendatron to die. But, um, okay. Okay. They come back unless the corpse is destroyed. Okay, okay, good to know, good to know. Um, let's see, fire damage. Okay, and, oh, here we go, dude. Look at this guy's freaking, oh, we can't use this, can I? Pay, pay to, we don't have enough arcane potential, right? Why am I allowed to do this? Pay to deal 14 lightning to an enemy. Oh, but. Deal 10 lightning damage, potentiate, thunderclap. Oh my gosh, the first time you become fully focused, deal 10 lightning damage to the leftmost and rightmost enemies. But that means I need that many potential energy. Like, can I even use this? Need more potential. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. That poten okay, I like this. I like this mana system. I like this. So we'll just lightning strike. Oh, he's weak to that. Awesome. Which means we got a potential crystal back. Um... Bleed an enemy. We'll just do that. And, yo, here we go. Kill that guy. Sweet. Because I kind of want a fire guy. So who would be better here? The Devout Phoenix. Because he's kind of Phoenix and Lifesteal guy. Kill yourself and deal 12 fire to... Excuse me? And what about this fire one? Okay, I think that this is the better fire. This is the fire guy that I want. Passives are always active. The potential is just to equip it. Gotcha. It's really fun game so far. Yeah, th this is, this is, uh, I mean, I knew people were talking like high, highly, highly about it. I'm surprised it's not as well known, but to be fair, maybe that's for the best until, um, I don't know, sometimes like, uh, you know, art stuff like this kind of uh, pushes people away. Not me because I'm used to playing early access games, but um, yeah. The protagonist can take skills from enemies, so in order to take a skill like Thunderclap, the protagonist needs enough technology. 
Gotcha. See, though, to be fair, if I didn't have you guys just talking to me in chat, I, this might have been a completely different experience. Um, which is just something to keep in mind. But, I mean, to be fair, the tutorial has been pretty decent so far. Um, so he's going to keep doing the fire. Yeah, all of our guys are just on fire. Um, okay. So I'm going to leave the flame tongue for last. Because they can't... They don't have a way to... Um, respawn, do they? No, okay, yeah. So none of them have a way to make that guy come back alive. So we're going to just start hitting up the devout phoenix guy. Um, here we go. There we go, and they're weak to physical. Nice. Okay, so do we have any more physical? Physical damage, poach. The hunt. We didn't get the hunt, but either way, it's still good. Um, he can now do sacred bow. He can now do sacred bow. Get out of there. Okay, one life. Um... So he'll die to bleed. He'll die to bleed. Um, so we probably fully bleed an ally and an enemy. Yeah, we'll fully bleed our protagonist because our protagonist has got a ton of health there. Okay, so he's dead. We just want to capture this guy. I want to capture Flame Tongue. So deal some physical damage there. Um, probably just physical damage. The poach. Um. Oh, we can no longer use Sacred Bow. That may Also, wait, what is Deathbound? This unit's corpse is destroyed. Oh, if we kill kill it, the corpse is just fully destroyed. Oh, my. Okay. The amount of times I've used a fire skill on a fire guy is much higher than I'd like to admit. <laughs> I know, yeah, I was specifically making sure I wouldn't do that. Um, pay three to fully focus yourself and deal 20 lightning damage to an enemy. There we go, killed him. Flame tongue, so we got the flame tongue. Nice. Okay, exploration, mysterious void. Actually, before we do though, I don't really feel like I need the, the bounty hunter is so good for like a wide variety of things. Also, don't, don't we have a, potentiate all allies. No, okay, yeah, I don't have anything about that. So I kind of want the flame tongue instead of the bounty hunter. I think that's what we want to do. Ryfix, hello. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing on this fine Saturday evening? At least for me. It's 3.53 p.m. for me. <laughs> We're going to enter a mysterious void. Retrieve run reward. Allies take two less damage when they resist. When a battle starts, invigorate all allies. Bosses. You know what? We're going to keep taking that. I just want to have them have all of the potential they can so they can just do all of the stuff they want. So new item or skip to progress spin. I don't know what that means. So I'm gonna just take it. Oh, we can go back? Is there like a leveling up system? I don't know. There's an elite battle, an elite battle here. Um, all enemy damage has lust. Enemies have more HP. Wait, what is lust? And this is all enemy damage has cold five. I don't and they'll be able to how to do that. Okay, whatever. We'll do Lust. I don't know what either of those are. Okay. A lot of placeholder art here. That's okay. Um, okay. They're doing a lot of stuff here. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, my. They already put on... Oh, no. Those are buffs. Oh, they did decay. So, what does Lust mean? Is Okay. When you target an enemy with a skill, you gain 1 HP and they lose 1 HP? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. So... Let's start bleeding. What are these guys doing? This guy can revive an ally. This is going to do physical and, I don't know, bleed type stuff. Maybe Clockwork Golem's going to protect Some allies. Can he revive people, though? Potentiate allies. No. Okay, Berserker. What can Berserker do? Bunch of just ran. Okay, I'm going to kill the Soul Mender first. Because the Soul Mender can revive people. And I don't, I don't want anyone getting revived. So... Just eviscerate, just do all this potential, just do a ton of damage. Um, what does initiative mean? Activates the first time the unit is summoned into battle. Oh. Deal 15 fire damage to an enemy. Chain, revive all ally corpses with 2 HP. What does chain mean? When the skill deals damage that isn't caused by a chain effect. When the skill deals damage that isn't caused by a chain effect. Oh, okay, so it just doesn't infinitely chain. Makes sense. Fully progress burn on an enemy and fully burn them. Oh. 
burn all units and progress their burn. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna burn everything. Literally, that's so cool. It just burns everyone. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we have something we can do that's insane? We can already do a sacred bow here. So we're gonna just sacred... Oh. Oh, we don't have enough crystals. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Wildfire is super good if you have guys who absorb fire. Oh, like a whole fire build? That, that would be cool. Uh, 10 lightning damage... Or do we just do this? Pay three to fully focus yourself, deal 20 damage. Oh, let's do that. Oh, they cost two crystals. Why does everything cost two crystals? Uh, fully decay an enemy, remove all their invigorate. We'll just do the normal lightning damage one there. 10 damage and slice, which does progress the bleed there. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. What, what, what did he just put on himself? Protect. Oh, oh. Okay, a lot of keywords going on here. Um, protect prevents one enemy skill with cost equal or less than the number of protect stacks. Fully protect. Okay, well, we'll just... Last three turns. Okay. Well, let's just kill that guy. Um, let's see here. Burn all units. Deal f 10 fire damage. To three enemies actually let's do that we'll do that that's gonna just eat up that thing oh resist this type of damage oh wait wait wait, wait. No, no 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 let's let's restart that let's restart that um, we're gonna just fully progress burn on this guy he just fully burned now okay okay um, take one less damage per stack when your weakness is hit Okay, well, we're not even hitting his weakness. So, now can we do this? Sacred blow. Okay, here we go. Boom. Deathbound. Oh, that's a thing. This unit's corpse is destroyed on it. So, that's not like hunt. That's an actual debuff. And we'll do slice right there just to get rid of the protect for free. Invigorate. Okay, so they're healing. They're healing it up. Um, maim. This guy's taking a lot of damage here. Uh, eviscerate. Screw it. Oh, was that his resist? Oh, okay. Dang. Um, deal 15 damage to an enemy. It's fire damage, which they're okay at. Um, four fire damage to an enemy two times. That's not the best. We will just Phoenix Blast this guy. Uh, so he should definitely die. He's gonna die. Uh, sacred bow. Oh, we have zero crystals. So, we'll just end our turn. Cool, okay. Okay, we got this, we got this. Resist is only minus one damage, so high damage skills aren't affected very much. Oh, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, let's go up to this Berserker now. Um, freaking Eviscerate. Eviscerate is so good. Oh, he's resistant to physical. Okay. Um... But if they resist, don't I, do I, no, I don't lose extra crystals, I don't think. Um, so we're gonna actually just skip this guy. Oh, skipping one, your next crystal becomes fading. Oh, okay. Sacred bow, we can freaking sacred bow here though. 14, oh no, photo cannon, here we go. There we go, did just a ton of damage there. I don't even know. Okay. And then slice, which will progress the bleed there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I like that you fully heal every every combat. I, I do kind of like that. You only lose if it nullifies the damage. Oh, okay. Um, well, we'll just gouge there. We will... Um, oh, he's super weak to this. So we'll do this twice. It does two attacks. So the first one went through. Prevents one enemy skill with cost of equal. Oh, did that have more of a cost? Lightning damage. Um, what, what type of damage is this? Lightning. Okay, yeah, what is, what is uh, no, we'll just do another photon cannon. 25, nice, There, he's weak to that. And um, 
fully bleed an ally. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do you and this guy. Oh, this guy's got a lot. So, oh, he protected it. What? Oh, was it a debuff? That's the protecting from the debuff st stuff. If it had more cost, but also Inferno Talon has Pierce, which makes it go through everything. Oh, that's what's good about it. Okay, I see. I see. Uh, Viscerate. Oh, he's weak to physical. Get out of here. Um, dude, he's weak to a lot of stuff. Um, let's see. We'll just Inferno Talon. And we will Photon Can. Oh, we don't have enough of the potential. So we will Sacred Bow. We did it. We'll abduct him just to trade him, if anything. You can trade allies. Okay. Yeah, so I know that. Starter item unlocked. Laser Claw. The protagonist gains one attack. Okay. Oh, what is this? I can now get, like, people as well. Um... Yeah, I definitely feel like this placeholder art should be, I don't know, add different, like, emoji faces or something on them. I don't know. I know that, like, not actually, but... So these are moves. I can put moves on people? Um... That's cool, because it allows you to customize them depending on, like, the mana systems that they're at. That's interesting. Okay, um, to potentiate and fully focus yourself... Skills always go on the protagonist. Oh, okay, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, deal three ice damage and three arcane damage to an enemy. Chain, progress, burn, decay, and freeze on them. Oh, this is a passive. Initiate, gain more of the... Thing. I'm assuming what... I don't know what that top part is. Does that just mean how much you need to have for the passive to even trigger? I don't know what the, the top... I, like, I know for skills what it is. That's how much you have to have. But on a passive, how does that work? But either way, what does our guy even do? He's bleeding and eviscerating. So none of his stuff actually costs... Because that costs three, which we already have. So... Let's see. Maybe we could just get an item. When a battle starts, burn all units. When a battle starts, haste all allies. Oh, other buffs and debuffs on you progress in additional time. When an ally hunts... No, okay, we'll just get... You know what? We'll just get Thermite. So we'll just throw this clock... Or, no, we'll get the Vendatron in here. Oh, no, we can't, right? Because he... Isn't this guy the one that... Determines which skills can be used. Gain one... Wait. What is... Oh, oh, that's just the technology. I think we can't actually get rid of him. I... It's not telling me we can't get rid of him, but I'm pretty sure he was the guy that we... We didn't get rid of. We'll get rid of the bounty hunter though, and we'll we'll take uh, thermite. We'll just burn people. New item thermite. Take the thermite. Um, we can do it multiple times. Okay. The top part is just how much you need to equip the passive. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. You can summon mid combat through to change party compositions on the fly to deal with challenging fights. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Maybe I don't just sell everyone. Turtle, how's the game so far? It is, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. This is a very complicated and involved game, but that's not a bad thing. Um, obviously it's early access, so it's got some early access placeholder stuff, but it's, uh, it is very, very interesting, and I'm glad I'm checking it out right now. Um, when an ally hunts an enemy, do we want anything else here? Um, <laughs> His corpse is destroyed. I don't know. I think we just leave. I don't I don't really know what I'm doing here. Exploration. Let's do some exploration. When an ally corpse is destroyed, they get sent to the hearse. Allies can be purchased back from the hearse. If you lose a key unit, death can bail you out. Artwork goes here. Destroyed and dead connections can be repurchased. Okay, well, I don't have anyone dead. Death is parked downtown in his new hearse surrounded by groupies. Ask about the new hearse, gain an arcane. Ask how the marriage is going, gain a technology. I guess do that. Next time your buddies die, come by. Before I drop them off, you can swap some fresh bodies for your old mates. So we got more potential, which he's already has all the potential he needs. He doesn't need anything more. Um, I guess, yeah, let's just explore all these different things. You can store units in the Grand and they will stay there between runs. You can visit the Grand as often as you like each run. You can now accept... Up to three bounties at a time to earn rewards. Be careful, some bounties can make battles more dangerous. 
Some bounties grant positive effects to your team, but only last for a limited amount of time. So these are our quests. While completed, you gain a random buff at the start of each run. Apply 15... So are these quests? Inverted towers, that's different. Kill six enemies, all enemies gain full enlighten when a battle starts but see i don't even need that potential i don't need that potential quests on the right bounties on the left okay oh bounties are over here but yeah i don't know if, if these are just giving me if all they're doing is giving me potential on my main guy i don't need that i don't need to make the game harder um nah get out of here okay what's this exploration you can grow and harvest randomly generated herbs to use as consumable skills. Herbs take four stages to grow and progress each time each spin becomes fuller silent. You can leave units at tough times to grow multiple herbs at once. The potential of each unit will influence the growth of the herbs. Units in tough times have a chance to die when herb growth progresses, but all herbs have a chance to upgrade and increase the amount they can be used. What? There's a whole farming aspect to this game? What? Um... Okay, um, where are my allies? Oh, shop, and tough tactics. Um, grow herbs, everything's running smoothly. Oh, I can put, units have a chance to die when herb progress. Where are my units? Everything's running smoothly tonight. Oh, here they are, okay. Let's put clockwork golem in here. And he will help somehow. Strength, 55% chance of death for every strength they have. Units have chance to die. Wait. 60% chance. Oh, the more strength, the lower they have a chance to die. Okay. Okay. Chance of extra progress. What's the technology doing? Favor for progress. Who, who would actually be helpful here? Chance of extra progress... I don't know. We'll just put him in there. Whatever. He's weak to everything. Um, and what? We just have to wait? Sacrifice. So, Havist. Add a unit. I think we just have to wait, right? Because we want to wait to harvest it, I think. So, um, if you press C or hit connections on the top right, you can see that system. Wait, the system of, what is this? God of beer, TM. What, yeah, th th this is, okay, I'm definitely starting to get a little overwhelmed. I'm just gonna uh, come back later. Okay, put the guy in. He's in there, I don't know. Um, let's do, uh, do we just have to do everything here? Let's do an elite battle here. Okay. Um, Valkyrie recruit, cryo junkies. This is the fire guy. Bomb blobber. This guy's bombing. This guy's doing a bunch of random stuff. This guy's doing random. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the bomb guy. I don't want no bombs on me. So we're gonna just maim him, bleed him. Uh, we're gonna freaking fully progress bomb on an enemy and fully burn them. Fully progress burn on an enemy. Yeah. There we go. We're just going all out. I missed a message. What was it? Was it something to do with the, the connections aspect? Um, three, four. Can't use either of these yet. Uh, we will just... Oh, we really want to do Photon Cannon with the Thunderclap. That's what we want. No, in chat. Oh, oh, the favor it's talking about is for connections system which isn't fully implemented yet oh oh that makes sense so the favor aspect is that what was in the the bounties or whatever or am i thinking of something else uh we'll do that for free get that bleed up okay they're gonna do a ton of damage here they're freezing this guy they're freezing that guy it is Lightning damage to this guy. All my people healed for some reason. Um, okay. Just gonna eviscerate. Just get this guy out of here. Um, 
Don't want to burn all units because that'll help the cryo junkie. Yeah, bounties also grant small amounts of favor with whoever put it up. Okay. Uh, fully progressed burn. We'll start getting it on this crystal vanguard now. We'll start killing this guy. Actually, probably shouldn't have because some of these other guys are really weak. Like photon cannon. Let's do this. It's freaking need more crystals. Oh no, I don't have enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, we will Just lightning damage there. Oh, he resisted lightning damage. That is good to know. That is good to know. Um, well, we will do a free attack on Cryo Junkie. I don't know. They're hurting our main guy. Oh, oh, that was that was a lot. That was a lot. Bounties persist persist between runs, so you can plan over multiple runs with them. Okay, okay. Um, let's let's actually get rid of these guys. I'm just gonna gouge him. And we're going to here. Is there anything free? He's, he's probably really, oh, he is nullified from fire. Okay. We're going to just uh, skip that. And I want a photon cannon this. Did a ton of damage to like everyone there. And we will yeah, just kill him there. Just get him out of here. Okay, wound. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty decent. Um, we could probably fire, do fire on this guy. Oh, he's dev he's very weak to fire. So, um, deal fire damage to three. We'll just do that. There we go. When he's weak, doing multiple hits like that is insane. And uh, photon cannon. Oh, we don't have enough potential because we used it. So we will sacred bow. Get out of here, deathbound. And now we just gotta start working on this guy. So, let's just fully bleed an ally and an enemy. Let's do it on himself. Or no, on the Daybreaker guy. Cause yeah, fully, like if, if, if our health goes up, that's totally, or like resets each floor. So eviscerate, get out of here. He's weak to physical. Um, we will just, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll save the mana here to just do a freaking photon cannon. And we'll abduct him because there's no reason not to. Okay, so we beat that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just fight this elite now. Just keep fighting. Oh, oh there's five here. Oh, no. Okay, well... I know he absorbs the hit. You will lose a crystal if it hits. But Magma, is this guy a fire guy too? He's probably gonna absorb fire too. Man, okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna switch out the Crystal Vanguard for him. I don't know what the Crystal Vanguard guy does, but um, freeze a unit two times. All allies, oh, that's initiate. The first time the unit is summoned. Oh, so he just did this. All allies gain five HP and max HP for each of their weaknesses. Oh. That's interesting. Hey, my guy, how are you doing? Anyways, after this, this Soul Knight on the list. Uh, it is, um, we are going to be doing uh, Void Tyrant, because that's what got voted on. I, I checked out Soul Knight, and it is not on PC, I don't believe. I think it's only on mobile, so it makes it a little bit hard to, you know, play it on... Uh, <laughs> on stream and make videos on it, but hopefully it comes out at some point. Void Tyrant looks pretty cool. Yeah, that that's what um, we'll probably be messing with here after this run, as long as it lasts probably another 30 minutes or something. <laughs> and with Soul Knight, you can play with me an experienced Soul Knight player. Yeah, I know, I gotta, I gotta get, him, get him to get it on PC. Um, okay, I think we save our crystals here so we can do some wild stuff. Um, who, who's 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 the problem here? Who who's 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 being quirky here? Pyro junkie. Um, fully decay a corpse and sicken all enemies. I, I want I don't want him to do whatever that is. Let's kill this magma leper. 
Hey, Plastic Spot, hey man, just passing by to wish you well and have a good stream. Hey, thanks. Uh, nice, nice seeing ya. I've been, I've been checking out some of your uh, your stuff, and uh, man, at, at all of your thumbnails are on point. They, they like maybe want to click like every single one, but hope you're, uh, hope you're doing good, man. Thanks for the, uh, for popping in. Uh, we're just playing overly complicated games and attempting to, to learn how to, how to do this. <laughs> Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna potentiate himself. Honestly, he needs he needs that actual potential and uh, We will just fully bleed this magma leper and actually no, it's it's too early for that. It's too early for that uh, We're gonna just bleed Just a little bit just a little bit here eviscerate there bleed and maim and uh, That's all we can do Um Okay, so he, oh, oh my, excuse me? Who just did that? Who just dealt all of that damage to my guy? That's wild. Okay, well, we're going to eviscerate, we'll just kill this guy. I'm just getting it out of the way, whatever. Um, I think, we, I, let's get rid of this pyro junkie here. Bearwolf is the one that's doing that? When an enemy deals 10 or more damage to you while you are alive, as if I deal five physical, oh. He's got a lot of health. He's got a lot of health. I think I need to try to figure out the other people. Skull Crusher, pay two to deal 15 physical. Um, he is really weak to ice, but we don't really have any of that. So we're gonna just Skull Crusher, the Pyro Junkie. His trauma loses some attack, okay. Um, ooh, Photon Cannon. Which would, let's do that. Oh, we don't have enough crystals. Oh my gosh, yeah, I need to save them. I need to save them. We have no crystals, next. Okay, this, our Daybreak biker is getting close to dying here. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm glad they're going after my Crystal Vanguard. Okay, okay. Um, You know what, I'm gonna not, he's just gonna do nothing. Um, and allies. Well, can you play the messenger? I'll, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to check it out. Um, definitely. I, I tend to forget a lot of things, so uh, best way is like throwing it up in my suggestions channel on Discord or in the uh, comments of the uh, community polls that I put out. But I can definitely at least take a look and see what it's kind of about at some point. Um. What is brace yourself? Full crystal spent become fading instead of being destroyed. Oh, that's the efficient. It does not tell me what brace does. Okay. Um, this guy's attacks are awful. Um, we're gonna just skip. Okay, here we go. Here's the photon cannon. Okay, we're gonna photon cannon this guy. Did a ton of damage to both sides with his thing. And then we just finish it off torture. There we go, killed that guy, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Oh man, okay. Oh my, they killed someone. They killed our uh, awesome guy. Wait, did, where, did, why is his corpse not here? I'm a little worried. That guy was awesome. I hope he's not just dead dead. Um, okay, well we will skip this one. He got hunted, so he, the corpse isn't even there. That's wild. Um, what is he weak to? He's not weak to anything I know. This guy's weak to ice. Um, I mean, there's like the freeze unit, but I think we just need to deal damage here. Physical, Skull Crusher. Oh, he's, he absorbs physical. That's not good. That's not, I, I just did another physical attack. I don't know what I'm doing. You can summon into empty slots, though, which is kind of like a revive. Okay, maybe I need to do that. Can summon during combat by pressing units. Try refilling your party. Okay. Yeah, get, uh, get Venditron up in here. Um, okay. This is not good. This is not good. Um, hmm. Let's see. Blitz. 
To two enemies. Okay, let's do it to both of these guys. Give him shock. No, no, almost did physical damage on that guy. Just do physical damage on that one. I almost just... That would have not been good. That would have not been good. Oh, another one of our guys died. Uh-oh. Oh, there's his corpse or whatever. Okay, we're gonna summon in the flame tongue. Uh... Oh, what? These guys got revived. They got revived. Um, two damage. Kill the Magma Leper. Um, deal six. We'll just kill. Yeah, we need to kill those. Keep those guys dead. Oh my gosh. We have no crystals. Uh-oh. Is it? Is it over? It might be over, guys. It might be over. I hope it's not. Okay, um, let's just eviscerate this flame tongue guy. Let's get let's get this guy out of here. Let's get this guy out of here. Oh oh, was he dead? Oh oh, geez, our main guy's about to die too. An ally gains ten max HP. That doesn't really help. Six lightning damage. There we go. Okay, killed him. Oh man. Okay. Oh, now our main guy's a corpse. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, physical damage doesn't work on that guy, so let's just start getting the main guy. Oh, and that, that was all our crystals. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 That's not good. We don't have any more units. Um, we just got to keep eviscerating here, right? That's all we can... That's, that's the best chance we have. But against that baseball star or blade ball star, I don't know what we do. Okay. Um, six lightning. 16 piercing. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, we killed that one. Um, no more. Um, so it's just this guy. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's... He's, oh my gosh. To pass the turn to an ally and gain haste? What? what? I don't know what he just did. You can pass and then Phoenix Blast for revives. Oh, does Phoenix? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, we'll do that. Phoenix Blast. Do Fe oh my gosh. That is really strong, actually. I just, I didn't really realize that. Okay. Okay. I don't know what the point of giving haste is to people. On the corpses. Because they're not doing anything, are they? I don't think so. So, okay. Can't do any physical damage. Um, 25 arcane. Did we go for it? <gasps> we freaking did it! The fact that you can summon allies mid-battle reminds me of Pikachu, <laughs> I choose you. <laughs> no, that is uh, that is definitely fair. GG, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, um. Let's see, are any of these good? Deal seven arcane damage to an enemy chain, they lose seven HP and max HP. I like that. Let's actually get that rare skill. Actually, I don't have enough people. I kind of need these people. Never mind. I, I can't do this. Can't I go back to the... Is this the guy that was... No, where was... Where was the... Tough times... Did, our, did my guy die? I think my guy died. If he's not here, right? Yeah, I don't know. He died. He died. Uh, where was our... Wasn't there a... Oh, wait. We can go up. We can go up. The blast zone. What are these? I don't know what those are. Oh, I can't even get to this haven. Oh, we can travel to new gates? What? We go left and right. Oh. I don't know what... Okay. I don't know, we'll just do a random thing. I don't know, like, where my overall goal is or anything. Um, okay, eviscerate. 
Let's see, Harvester is gonna be doing arcane damage. Oh, is he reviving? When hunts a unit, the Stolen HP will revive them. Okay, no, we're killing this guy. Killing this guy, freaking eviscerating him. And then we're gonna, uh, I don't know, we'll just do the free one there. Just get his bleed up. Um, deal 16 piercing. This is actually, do we have any free things? No, we'll just do that. And we will burn all units. Let's do that. Burn all the units. Gotta kill the blue elite battles to unlock mid bosses. Kill them to get to act bosses. Okay, okay, gotcha. Um, bleed an enemy. Deal physical bleed. Slice. Okay. You have two mid bosses unlocked in Act One right now. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I will attempt to do that if I can survive this uh, this fight. Um, we will maim, destroy an ally corpse to gain. Oh, okay, let's kill this guy. Freaking eviscerate that guy. Um, we'll just do that. Isn't that supposed to? I thought that was supposed to. When you damage a bleeding unit, progress a bleed on them. Why did bleed not progress on there? See, he already had one bleed. I feel like he should have gotten another bleed there. Um, we will lightning damage there. That guy's gonna die. Um, fire damage. Any of these people? Are, I guess we will just do fully progress burn on. Oh, his burn was already burned. Whatever. Progress means it activates it like at the start of the round, so it ticks the bleed damage. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, we're gonna save the gems to deal 25 arcane damage. Kill that guy. Get out of here. Um, oh, was he weak to that? Awesome. Okay, so we can't do fire. But what about lightning? We can do lightning. Uh, and no fire damage, so we will do fully progress burn on an enemy. Do that on that. Okay. Okay, we got this. This is easy. This is easy mode. Um, skip you. 25 damage there. That is so good. Um, 16 lightning. Get out of here. Okay. Abduct the Luna Sage. Okay, well... You said what, there were mid bosses? In, in here? Oh, I clicked down here. Defeat an elite battle in this area to unlock. Defeat four mid bosses in an area to unlock the act boss. Remains defeated between runs. Okay, so here's the mid boss. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Um, Frontline medic. He's going to revive. Wait. Invigorate, protect. Uh, this guy is lightning. Um, he's doing shooty stuff. And he's doing okay. I want to kill the frontline medic first. So we're going to just eviscerate him. Um, and we will progress bleed on him just a little bit. Um, this I think we'll skip so we can then do. Burn all units. That's probably good, right? Sure. Um, I don't know. Progress bleed up there. Do more bleed. Okay. Okay, so we can actually keep going through multiple times. That's interesting. That's interesting. He's healing. How dare you heal? Oh, they tried to do lightning to my guy, and my guy healed because of it, because he's a freaking vending machine. Uh, we will just eviscerate, kill that guy. Um, we will kill one of these guys. Um, let's do free though, because I want to do skip. Um, burn all units. I do miss my one guy that died, honestly. Um, we'll just fully progress. No, 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 we'll just do Inferno Talon there, do some damage. And we have one fading. 
can do slice free two damage. There are some items and awakening passives that you can get um, that can get you more than four crystals, which lets you do crazy stuff. Oh yeah, I would imagine that sounds insane. Um, 25 arcane damage. Oh yeah, we'll just kill you. Get out of here. Um, freeze a unit. I don't know. I don't. I don't think we do any of this stuff. And we will just uh, fully progress burn on this guy, so he's full three burn. I think we try to kill that guy. If you click the protagonist when you're out of combat, you can see the awakening stuff, but it's more mid game and late game system. Gotcha. Um, skip. I don't really. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Umbro Blast. That Umbro Blast is insane. He resisted, but doesn't really matter. Um, you know what? We'll just go ahead and. F Free. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What's going on here? Freeze a unit. Just a little bit there. Um, and we will do some. F oh, no, we need more crystals. Okay, we can't really do anything. So he's dead. We just got this frontline soldier left. Absorbed. Uh, just freaking eviscerate him. Oh, he resisted it. He resisted it. So he's strong to ice, but. Um, I guess we'll just do that. Oh, he resists the physical. What am I talking about? Yeah. Um, okay, we'll do piercing electric damage. And then, uh, fire doesn't really do much for us. So we'll just skip. Oh, we didn't even have any gems anyway. So, did not matter too, too much. Um, eviscerate. No point in eviscerating. Arcane damage. Oh, he resists arcane damage. He's just freaking resisted to everything. Oh, our flame tongue guy died. Well, that's okay. This guy's like so low. Uh, okay, just ton of damage. I'm ducked. We got the frontline soldier. Void sphere, mysterious voids outside of heavens contain two more mid boss items. I know you already played snakes, but can you please play it in this stream after the messenger? So I think after this, we're probably going to, cause I did the community poll um, to see what we're gonna be doing. So I think after this, we're gonna be doing void tyrant, but there's definitely more snakes uh, videos coming out. Um, probably tomorrow even. When will you play the next game? Probably another like 10, 20 minutes. Um, yeah, we're probably getting close to, uh, to switching it up. Um, I wasn't so I was not expecting the uh, rounds of this game to take um, this long, which is good in its own way Just was didn't really know how long things took um, When a battle starts all allies gain two max HP that sounds good to me That sounds good to me emergency calamity detected destroy destruction awaits points available What does that mean emergency boss? Strengthened nearby enemies So what am I gonna go to that one right now? Oh, jeez. Pale Biker. Okay. I don't know what... Okay, let's see. Eviscerate. Okay, he's okay to that. Um, fully bleed an enemy. We will just slice for free because I want, kind of want to see what he is... Uh, what he's he's up to here. Like, um... You know, we'll start freezing him. I think that's good. And we will fully progress burn on an enemy. I just want all the debuffs I potentially can put on... Sicken three enemies. Oh my, what does Sicken do? Reduces all HP gained per stat by stack by one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's doing a ton of stuff. Um, I think Eviscerate is still the way to go if I can do that. Um, just Slice. Uh, what have we not tried? We haven't tried Electric or Arcane. Let's just try Electric. Okay, it does nothing. I kind of just want to... Uh, to see what it's uh, up to here. Like what its resistances are and stuff. I, I, yeah, my guys are like all of the buffs and debuffs in the, on the warp planet. So we'll skip that. Um, okay, 25 arcane damage. Oh, he reflects it. He reflects arcane. That is, uh, we just lost all our crystals for trying that out. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Oof, yeah, oof indeed. Oh, this guy just died. Oh my gosh, okay. 
Um, we're gonna skip this. We're going to just do the free attack. Uh, we're going to freeze a unit. And then we're going to Phoenix Blast to revive our Blood Soldier. His, his art is a little zoomed in. I don't know if it's supposed to be that zoomed in, but it is. Oh, if you let me leave, I'll give you one of these. Oh, he just wants to leave. When you break an enemy's protect, protagonist gains two strength. When an enemy no, no, you know what? No, you're, you're helping me. You gotta help me here. We'll eviscerate, we'll slice for free. I need to save some actually for my flame tongue to get another revive in. This is, this is spooky. This is freaking spooky. Oh, oh, that guy died and he doesn't even get a corpse. Rip. Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay, units, uh, freaking get our frontline soldier in here. Um, we, uh, let's, uh, fully progress burn on you. I don't know. And this guy headshot to 30 down. Oh my gosh. That's really good. So he just needs to get his initiative up. We've got to bring some more people in here. We've got to get more people up in here. Okay. Actually, eviscerate. Eviscerate is... No, no, no. No, we need to blade ball star up in here. Flame tongue. Let's do the phoenix. Ah, oh, we can't. We can't. We can't. Um, headshot. Oh, we don't have enough potential. I don't know. Yeah, do some gun damage. Gun damage is whatever. Pay to pass the turn to an ally and haste them. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't have the mana for that. Uh oh, our guy's taking damage. Our guy's taking damage. I think we could do it though. Okay, eviscerate, eviscerate. Got to do that. Oh, I should. I don't know why I didn't save for Phoenix Blast. I need to do that. I need to do that. Oh, come on. Oh, geez. Okay, well, he's, he's, he's gone. My Phoenix guy is gone. Okay, let's bring in Luna Sage. Um, headshot. Okay, we did it. Got a Pale Biker. Increases emergency chance. Okay. Um, hmm. When an ally takes damage, thorn them. Okay, this is, this is getting a little spooky. This is getting a little spooky here. Um, I don't, points available, I can't even go there. I don't know why I can't. Um, so let's just do the other mid boss, right? Soul Mender, we wanna kill these things first. So just eviscerate off the bat. Um, deal five physical to all enemies, that's good. That's good. Revive got reduced to zero by sick. Oh, you got to right click for points. It's not explained yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a uh... Definitely feel like that could be explained. Um We will gouge that guy for normal 12 lightning damage to an enemy. We'll just do shockwave again. Oh, what? He re Excuse me? What happened there? What happened there? Protect. Okay, we'll just do that. Just to get rid of the protect, I guess. So after this combat, we will probably uh, call it and we'll switch over to Void Tyrant. Um, because as cool as this is, I definitely want to um, give the other games a shot if that makes sense. I think we can do, no, we still can't do headshot. Um, we'll overload, potentiate, don't know what that actually is. Um, let's skip that guy. Fully freeze all enemies, that's actually, that's really good. Oh, he needs more potential. Um, Netherice, oh, he absorbed, absorbed the arcane, that's not good. That's not good. Still can't do headshot. We'll be able to do headshot. Keep healing? What's going on here? What's going on here? The boss is a pain. <laughs> I believe... Gouge to get rid of the protect. 
and we just overload. What? what? Okay, what, what's going on here? Other allies cannot be hunted, and when they become a corpse, automatically pay 13 HP to revive them. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. Um, well, I think we just still keep hitting this, right? Or, or do we just do damage to the main guy? Oh, null. Oh, he nulls our can- <laughs> Yeah, not knowing their resistances off the bat is uh is a little interesting. Um Okay, let's just kill this boss here. That's what needs to happen. Headshot. That's what needs to happen. Okay, we killed the boss. Gonna stop freaking rev excuse me? Oh, the freaking soul menders are now reviving. Okay. What is happening here? Um, so I have to kill them all at the same time? What? It, what? I... I am... I don't really know how to, how to do this now. If they're going to just keep reviving them, all of them... You're probably pretty close to unlocking the item that reveals our resistance. At least Corpse will eventually get destroyed by the mortal tether. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on here. This is Protect I yeah, I the shockwave to deal damage to everyone, but They're all like at what HP? Like <laughs> What more do I need to do? Okay, here we go. Kill? Five physical damage to all enemy. What? I I don't understand this. I don't understand this. This is uh This is a little ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Um Eight damage there, five damp He's just gonna keep re I, I am so confused as what's happening here. So do I have to kill the corpse of that? I have to kill the corpse, but it's going to keep getting revived. I have no clue. Just a freaking gouge. And... He's weak to that. Gouge. Okay, kill them again. <laughs> I like... Her corpse is down to 52 health from 100 already. Yeah, like, I know I can, like, I can't even see all of her skills and all of her passives. Or maybe these all are all of hers. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Do I just need to pile on the corpse? Um, just, yeah, I guess we just got to pile up on the corpse. But I think we're going to die. We're going to die. This is... Oh, okay, we died. Uh, let's bring in the Pale Biker that we got. Um, deal two to an enemy. Oh, he's null. Okay, I don't... Corpse has got 28. I, I honestly... I'm just, I'm just throwing attacks in here at this point. This is... Um, needle jab. Deal six damage to all ice. Okay. Are we, do we almost have it? Wait, weren't we already at the corpse? I thought we had already... Okay, revived again. Gouge. I... Okay, the corpse is still there. It's just gonna keep... It's gonna just keep, keep coming down. Keep coming back, I mean. Okay. Okay. You gotta be dead, right? Okay, we finally got the freaking boss. Oh my gosh. That was obnoxious. That was so obnoxious. Um, okay. 
All we gotta do is just kill this second guy. Oh, except he's gonna keep reviving. Oh my gosh. This is... Are they gonna just keep reviving each other? I, I literally just gotta kill him at the same exact time. Okay, got that guy low. Okay, you guys better not heal. I'm gonna be so upset if you guys heal. Okay. Um, eight physical damage, kill that guy. Physical damage, are we one away? Is he gonna get, is he gonna get revived? Okay, okay. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually aggravating me a little bit. Just because... It, like, now I just feel like I'm just totally, like, throwing... I don't know, maybe this? Does that, like, prevent them from doing their res stuff? I don't know. I literally just feel like I'm, like, doing the equivalent of, like, button mashing. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Because they're just, yeah, I literally have to kill them in the exact same turn. <laughs> so we just, yeah, we just lose, I think, actually, now. Wow. Better go kill the, the enemy has decimated you and taken everything. Only your carnage lingers. We unlocked a build. Huh, okay, well, uh. You kind of miss lethal many turns in a row by using random skills instead of going for more damage. You could have killed them in the same turn a whole bunch of times, but you threw the match. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I feel like at, at a certain point, I just got fatigued. That entire boss fight was way too long, and I feel like I kind of just... Um, I kind of just was wanting it to end. So I, do prob I did probably throw it. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, this is Malice and Greed. I think it's I think it's really, really promising. Um, obviously, it definitely needs a lot of work in terms of the presentation and um, explaining things. Because, like, what is this? Points available? Apparently, I have to right-click this. Battles have one more difficulty modifier. Gain a potential bounty when you enter a haven. When spin falls silent, a busy connection. I don't really know what this stuff is so but I, I'm, I'm very interested in this game and I'm very interested to see how it uh, how it evolves and grows and stuff like that and I definitely will check it out more probably more when it like officially comes out um, but I uh, I'm, I'm intrigued I like the overall systems and stuff